Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is my birthday. I'm 23 today, but I'm not gonna count this year in my age because I just didn't do anything about it. I didn't get to use it, so I'm still 22. Anyway, today we're gonna do um, a little bit of mukbang, though I don't really want to consider it as a mukbang since these are the only two things that I'll be eating today while I talk in front of you. And um, our topic for this mukbang is my top 10 noticeable changes. Excuse me. Noticeable changes in my body after I gave birth to Penelope. I know it should be something related to my birthday, but um, I just want to share with, I just want to tell you that celebrating your birthday as a mom is so different because, well, well, for example, right now, I, I can't really enjoy it since I know that I still need to take care of a kid. I know a lot of people will tell me, oh, go spoil yourself, relax yourself, go rest, but I can't do that. I can't go an hour without thinking of my, of what's happening to my kid. So, yeah. By the way, I'm gonna eat some leftover lasagna and some Cheeto Puffs. I know, very unhealthy, but they're both pretty good. I love this lasagna. It's so cheesy. It's filled with melted mozzarella cheese, but it won't do a stretch anymore. Mm. Because it's hard. Okay, let's move on to this. Too sweet. It is different from the usual lasagna that we order. It's like the ground meat in this is not seasoned well. I'm gonna start first with two things that I've noticed like on the first few months after giving birth. So the first thing that I noticed is that I was getting hives every time I feel cold. I don't know why, but it just somehow kept happening. Like even after taking a cold bath, I would always get hives on my skin and it was so itchy. Second one is I usually got sick. I don't actually know if it's just my immune system going down since I'm always stressed, or maybe I just got super prone with like illness causing whatever in our environment. But yeah, during my first few months after getting getting Penelope out of me, <laughs> I kept getting sick, and I don't normally get sick, not even colds, not even a cough. Tinabi ko lang muna yung lasagna because I wasn't really feel, feeling it. It was so oily. Yeah. <coughs> and hindi pa masarap yung karne niya, yung ground meat niya. Parang kulang sa tempa or something. So, ito na lang muna ako sa Cheetos. 
Okay, the next one in my list is I noticed that my boobs have gone saggier after after like breastfeeding Penelope. This is probably going to be like relatable to a lot of women who have tried breastfeeding. My breasts have gotten smaller, gotten saggier. I know my breasts like way back it was very it was very perky, very plump. <laughs> but now it's just sad and saggy. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But um I was well growing up my boobs were already very perky. But then like when I got pregnant it became perkier and way more fuller. But after mga nakako, I mean after I tried breastfeeding, hindi nga umab no one month and I think like three weeks long or something. Um I after a month after a month of trying um breastfeeding her like directly on my nipples like try na ako mag pump ng milk because classes were already starting so syempre dapat ako mag stock ng milk for her since I'll be away to go to school and then dito lang siya sa bahay so syempre dapat ako mag pump ng milk eh konti lang naman yung lumalabas ng milk sa dede ko so um tinigil ko na yun and got a check up with the doctor and then I mean penalty's doctor with her pediatrician and then he suggested na mag formula na lang si Penelope since I'm studying naman and konti lang yung na-produce ko na milk and then after like a few weeks I noticed na dun na nagsasag yung boobs ko and then lumit rin siya and it's just it's just sad and super na conscious ako every time um every time na mag sleepless ako or something um cleavage revealing na mga damit or even like bikinis it just it somehow like looks separated and then down and then small so I don't know I just don't know how to describe it is that yeah the big thing boobs go and maybe it's a issue next is I've noticed that my periods have gotten shorter gotten shorter in a way now like before before I call the bundes my periods were very lengthy well but now seven days and then after after giving birth, umabot na siya ng three days or means are four days. But um, pinaka mata pinaka matas na yung four days. And then yung fourth day na yun is medyo spotty spotty na lang. Unlike before, yung fifth day ko sobrang lakas pa rin. Sixth day sobrang lakas pa rin. And then, dun na sa seventh day may namumuong dugo na lumalabas. Don't get disgusted because this is normal. Women get this like um, whole piece of blood sometimes during the last day of their period. So don't get so ignorant. That's normal. I think I'm gonna have to cut this video short to five to my top five noticeable changes after giving birth. Siguro yung kadugtong nito next time na lang since nagising si baby. Si birthday na birthday ko, magdadabog siya. And I have no control over that since gana naman talaga yung mga bata. So, my last and the fifth noticeable change in my body after giving birth is that I have insane hair fall. You may see that my hair is kind of thick. Kasi, makapal naman talaga yung walk naman sa um, sa aming pamilya, but um, numipis na to. Like, dati mas full to, and ngayon, kahit anong gawin ko, kahit hindi ako magsuklay, kahit magsuklay man ako, kahit magskip ako ng days ng 
hindi ako magsa-shampoo or conditioner. Kahit papahingahin ko lang yung buhok ko, not to wash it, not shampoo it, not condition it. My hair fall pa rin. And my mom said it's normal, especially postpartum. Because yung nutrition na supposedly magpupunta sa'yo is going to your breast na pang produce na ng milk. I'm not sure if that's true. But no pregnancy ko, I also noticed some hair fall. Kasi sabi ng doctor ko na yung nutrition na pupunta sana sa ibang parte ng katawan ko, like my hair, is pupunta for the nourishment of the kid. Right now, I'm not sure if, just, if it's just the stress or... Pakalbo na ba talaga ako, but... I have to sweep. Our bedroom floor, five times a day, because of my Like, that's insane. And I think in every time na I have to sweep, I think... 25 to 30 stands yung makakalat sa floor. So, pag umabot na ng ganun karami, I sweep it. Like, in the morning when I wake up, I notice some stands of hair on the floor, I sweep it. And then, after breakfast, when I see some stands of hair on the floor, I sweep it again. There's literally hair everywhere. So, I got my ano mabuti sa buhok na to. But, I'm actually very tired of sweeping. My back hurts a lot since yung posture natin. So, I'm always tired of it. Since, making it anyway. So, yan. It's very difficult. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Next time na lang yung part 2 nito. Because, May iba pa talagang changes sa body ko na na-notice ko after giving birth. Um, baka rin makarelate kayo if you have kids, if you have a wife, if you have a partner na may anak na kayo. And, um, I hope that you could help them. You could comfort them. No, tell them that it's normal, that it's fine. Other women go through these kind of things too. That's why I made this video. And, Guys, birthday na birthday ko. Gusto ko lang talaga ng tahimik na kwarto. Ako lang ang isa. Pero I can't do that since Rolf is outside doing some deliveries. Kasi I'm gonna do it for the dough. And looks like mapapostpone na ako na yung birthday ko. Sana mapapostpone rin yung age ko, no? Like, pwede 22 pa rin ako. Quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet. We'll so guys, if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much. I hope... I hope you click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!